All right, so we've been gone for a few days and we have heard reports about all the toxic green blue algae that's invading South Florida and this is, uh, this is where we live where this is going on right now this is where we uh, where we live where we work where we play these are spots that are affected this is where we uh, fish from this is where we ride on the paddle boards and go snorkeling and um, yeah this is our our life here during the summer pretty much so today's the first opportunity we've had since we got back um, we're out and we're just gonna see what we can we can find and see if we can get a first-hand look at how bad the algae actually is see what we can find It is an absolutely gorgeous day today. Um, I actually hope we don't find any of this toxic green sludge guacamole algae. <laughs> that there's some kind of uh, little festival thing going on today. They've got some local uh, food and seafood and music and I'm not sure what the walk through and see what's going on. moment I'm not so sure that this is one of America's happiest seaside towns with all the, the algae here and the beaches closed and this also being 4th of July weekend. People come down here for a vacation and even all the locals that want to get out on their boat and fish and surf and paddleboard and can't do it. Yeah, if this is the algae they're talking about or not but the water sure looks disgusting it isn't anything I would swim in so it's hard to see actual algae but the water is completely filthy again I don't know if that's from from the algae in the water or if it's just dirty water it's definitely not as clear as it normally is here this is pretty disgusting water Yep, lots of those dead fish on the beach, lots of scum all washed up on the edge on the bank, and the water is completely filthy. This is Island Pantry Market and Deli, a little local on the wall spot for food. got to eat. Cuban. Alright. What a nice place to eat lunch. Got some nice little tiki, tiki huts out here. And um, pretty good food. Cuban sandwich. Pretty yummy. If you guys are ever around this area, definitely check it out. South end of Hutchison Island.
we're headed to Bathtub Beach next to see what we can find there as far as algae. Again, this place would be packed. It's unbelievable. There's nobody on the beach except for like one or two people. I have never seen it like this. This is crazy. You'd be fighting for space normally. Even though we didn't see any algae, uh, uh, the algae is definitely affecting the area. Uh, each being closed, 